ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஒன் மோர் கொஸ்டின் there is a question which is there is a very important question actually there is a question about Sri Vaishnavas um, going and sprinkling or giving milk in uh, for the snakes during Adi month this month this is commonly seen in um, many places especially um, in other traditions like general Vedika traditions, Martha traditions, they go to the place where the um, ant hill, which is where the snakes will live in their holes, um, they will go and uh, women will generally go on Fridays during the Adi month and pour milk into that. Again, this is a practice which is not seen in any of the Sri Vaishnava elders. We see many charitrams, many incidents. None of um, those granthams, none of those Vyakhyanams have any reference to these acts being done by Sri Vaishnavas. Unfortunately, there are quite a few who are engaged in such activities. Possibly this is an influence of other Sampradayam people. So when someone is residing along with um, other Sampradayam people, when they do certain things like some Pratham or some of these activities, we may sometimes get attracted towards those and uh, they start following those principles without realizing that it is not part of our sampradaya. And when the elders in the family, they are not aware of sampradaya principles or they are not faithful towards sampradaya principles, they may ignore these rituals and they may just allow the women to go and do these things. But invariably when they go to these places, there will be some Devatantaram presence uh, in those places. And many women will uh, knowingly or unknowingly become attached, attracted towards those Devatas. And they will start worshipping and one will lead to another and they will eventually become totally attached to other devatas. So this is why it is very important to understand what our Purvacharyas did. We have certain traditions. We have many Utsavams in the temple. We have many Utsavams at home. We follow those schedules and we follow those routines. If you try to follow someone else's routine, then we will end up doing apacharams only. It will be Bhagavata apacharam, Bhagavata apacharam, Acharya apacharam and so on. Because if a Shishya of an Acharya goes and does anything like this, that will only be a, give a bad name to the Acharya of that person. Anyone who is knowledgeable, they will see this person and say, why did your uh, Acharya not stop you from doing such things? Why did they not tell that this is not part of our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya tradition? So there are many such things. This pouring milk is one routine, but there are other things which um, people engage in. Doing unnecessary vratams, doing unnecessary prasanas and uh, uh, saying that if I get this thing done, I will come and worship you in this particular temple. So all of these are not part of our Sri Vaishnava tradition at all. Our tradition is very clear. We do Kankaryam, we do Mangala Shasana. Bhagavan takes care of us. There is no expectation from our side for anything 
any worldly benefit. And Bhagavan does not expect us to go and uh, wait at the doors of any devata or any uh, or do any unnecessary vratams. So this point needs to be understood clearly and followed by all of us. If anyone does anything which is contrary to our sampradaya, that will only lead to their own downfall sooner or later. Alvar in Benamana, Jia Thirudigade Sharanam, Jia Thirudigade Sharanam. To learn such valuable information about our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, please download Koyi, K O Y I L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Our website is koyil.org, K O Y I L dot O R G.